Good morning, guys. Good morning, everybody. We are starting day two here on the Mother Road, and we are in St. Louis. Louis. Look at that arch, St. Yeah. Louis. So let's get a little closer and show you this arch. Yeah, let's check it out. We're looking forward to day two. It's got yeah. a lot of things to see. We're going to end up, in, I believe, in Tulsa, Oklahoma Tulsa, tonight. Oklahoma. Yeah. Uh, so let's check it out. Let's go. Walking up to the arch now. It's right there to our left. Some beautiful trees out here and bushes and just landscaping and just it's beautiful out here. Cold. Yeah, it's very cold. Very cold. But I looked at the weather app this morning. And by the time we get to Tulsa, it's going to be 79 degrees. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. And there's the beautiful courthouse right over there. And just look at the skyline there. And here we are at the base of the arch. We won't be going inside the arch within today. We're going to hit the road. We've done the arch in the past. We've never been to the top because it's so high up there. <laughs> but uh, we've done some of the things in the base there. But that's wow. The sun is rising up behind the arch. It just looks beautiful. Let me show you one more we'll look behind us here at the skyline of St. Louis. All right, we just got in looking at the arch there. It's so beautiful. Uh, we love seeing the arch in St. Louis. Uh, if if y'all want to see what the top of the arch looks like, uh, look up Yankee in the South. He just did a uh, well. Will and Don just did a road trip. Uh, like fall, I think. Yeah, I mean, a few months back mm -hmm. uh, on Route 66. And they went to the top of the arch. Yeah. Uh, so they showed the elevators, the top, and everything. So check out their Those channel. Look scary. Yeah. I don't think I can do it either. I'm not afraid of heights. Um, I'm more claustrophobic, so that might be a problem. <laughs> yeah, I, I hate heights. Yeah. So, uh, all right, we're going to hit the mother road now, and we got some more sightseeing to do. But the arch is an awesome way to start your morning, that's for sure. So. Oh, yeah. We've made it to our second stop of day two. We left the arch. And now we're here at Ted Drew's. They don't open till I think 10 or 11, um, which is a really iconic place. Look at the little like snow coming off the roof there. Uh, here's a look at their menu just so you can see what they have. Uh, they are open, we be getting some treats for sure. Uh, so a lot of good options on there. <laughs> they all shook up. Concrete or Sunday with Reese's peanut butter cups and bananas. That screams Elvis Presley right there. Route 66 sign there, and you can see the front here. Well, this is where you order your uh, treats at right here. And there's the building. Sun's peeking over the building a little bit, but this is a pretty cool place. Our next stop is Laumeyer Sculpture Park. Right here in this building here, it's got a bunch of like roses it looks like. That's really neat. Do y'all see what I see? An eyeball. That's awesome. It's really windy, so I apologize if y'all can hear the wind. It's just a big sculpture park out here. It's 192 inches. It's a statue, it says. Look at that. This is neat. Behind us is another building back here. That's some kind of fountain they got closed off right now. There's some stairs going down, it looks like. And there's a giant deer back there. Wow, this is neat. Hey, Steph. Yeah, sometimes I, I feel like somebody's watching us. I don't know. I just kind of feel like there's an eyeball looking at us sometimes. Mm -hmm. Could it be like that big eyeball? Whoa! <laughs> There's a giant eyeball behind us. Uh, I'm not going to be uh, a comedian anytime. A comedian anytime soon. No. I can't pronounce the word I'm trying to say. I can't. I'm not going to be a comedian anytime soon. Uh, we're going to see the eyeball though. All right, we're at the eyeball. That thing is cool. They might need some visine. It looks like.
I have an audience of one, which is Stephanie. I'm just trying to show you around the whole eyeball here. This thing is neat. It's, an <laughs> it's just an eyeball with a giant eyeball. That's so cool. All right, we stopped off at the Route 66 State Park Visitor Center here. It's a nice size visitor center. Unfortunately, it's closed today. Uh, here's the hours up here. Uh, 9 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. The park itself opens at 7 a.m. And, and it is Sunday, so I think we're going to have a lot of problems with things being closed today. Unfortunately, yep. Oh, look at this. The bridge at Route 66 State Park. So the Route 66 went over that little bridge right there. And it's right there over to our right. I think we can see that here in a second. All right, and this is a wow factor. We just saw a peak of it, and I said, wow, literally a wow factor. So Route 66 State Park, there's a lot to read. So I'll hold it there for a second. You can pause it if you like to. And then I'll kind of get back up a little bit there so you can read the whole thing. We talked about the rise and fall of Times Beach, a route to the past, a bridge to the future. And then over here, doing it today, say this historic bridge, says bridge.org. And this is about the restoration of the Route 66 bridge here. So a lot more information right here. I'll leave it here for a second. You can pause if you like to read all this information here. Uh, it'll connect visitors to both sides of the 424 acre park that we're in now and expand the Merrimack River Greenway Trail. It says the Warren Trust is a rare bridge inside of Missouri and only four of these bridges remain standing. It is the state's only three span rigid deck trust structure. It uses a triangular placement of beams to stiffen and strengthen the roadbed. Wow. It's a thousand nine feet long and consists of three 130 foot trust spans. Oh, wow. And look at this right here on the road missouri us 66. are y'all ready for the wow factor this is so neat just to see the old bridge here and i guess generally speaking this is route 66 you know that we're on right here standing on yeah. and look at that it's hard to see it's just really neat there's that's the highway there to our left the new bridge but look down that's where the road just ends it just ends right there where the bridge will start this is really neat i'm trying to give you a side angle here oh look the the, the lines are still painted on the road right here that's like the line for the shoulder of the road still painted on there yep. and i'll give you a side angle right over here maybe you can kind of see a little bit more of the bridge there and the river below. This is just, this is so cool. This is really neat. All right, I guess it's time to get back on the mother road. You like saying the mother road. <laughs> I love saying the mother road. Cross. Little teepees. That's so neat. We're at the 
old Lewis Cafe. It's like since 1958. I stand corrected on that. It is since 1938. 1938, farm raised Angus beef. This is really neat. That sign is awesome too. Alrighty, off to our next stop on Route 66. Look at this motel here. An old motel on Route 66. It's a little hard to see. They even have an old pool right here too. It'd be really awesome to see this hotel back in uh, the prime days and see how neat it would have looked. We're in Sullivan, Missouri now. And look at this cool mural they have here. Like the old 50s diner, jukebox there, and the old Route 66 Cadillac. Kind of like. A little puff of smoke behind it. It shows California, Arizona, New Mexico, Texas, Kansas, Oklahoma, Missouri, Illinois. Uh, and the Sinclair dinosaurs up there. Cool music notes, little uh, gentleman there pumping gas, and uh, we are there. That's where we are there. We got all the way down there to go. But we are getting there. A lot more to see, a lot more to do, but we are getting there. We can't wait. This has been awesome so far, and we're going to keep on going down the mother road. Right, we're outside the Shamrock Court uh, Motel now. It's very windy, so I apologize for the wind noise. That sign looks beautiful over there. And there's the hotel in front of us. It's very windy out here. And just over here is the Shamrock Court. The sign here, Save Shamrock Court, a bright future. 2021 goals, new roof, restored landscape, reproduced neon signage. Uh, overhaul war structures, HVAC system, plumbing, and electric. Uh, Shamrock66.com, donate to help them out. Um, look at this place here, a little fire pit right here. This looks nice. I can't wait to see this when it's fully restored. Very neat. Here we are at the Missouri Hick Barbecue. This place is huge. Missouri Route 66 Celebrating 20 years Look at this place The outside seating up top No shirt, no shoes, no service Missouri Hick A little wagon, or a wagon, a little wheel over here A little wheel over here and look at this here, Route 6 with the pig up top. This is neat. We're at the Wagon Wheel Motel. This is a really neat motel. And it looks like they're closed currently. Look at the office sign right there. It looks like they're currently closed. But look how neat this place is. Got the old gas pumps out front. And I'm going to show you this little behind this car real quick first, and then walk to the front of the place. Uh, so this car is pretty neat. I don't know how this property is that. This is really neat. And so starting right here just to show you, this is where they actually service the cars at. See this old antique car here. And you have the pit below it. That's where someone will be changing your oil at. That's pretty neat. And then up here, we'll walk right up these little stairs here. And there's a look back at that little pit right here. And the old classic car here. The, the old pumps here and everything. Standard oil products. There's the car there. 
Here's the old gas pumps here. And then here's the front here, the office and a little shop there as well. The sound of the door does say open, let's say vacancy, but there's nobody here. I don't know if they're actually open or not, um, but there's been nobody here. And there's no cars here. I uh, no, no, see no people or anything, so I uh, definitely check online. But really awesome place. We're at the back of the wagon wheel now. Everybody signs back here and way up here. <laughs> Will and Don, Yankee in the South. That's their sticker right there. That's so neat. Restrooms if you need them, but look at this whole wall back here. The chickens are right out back here. Chickens. Chicken coop right over there too. Our stickers haven't come in yet, so we're just gonna put our name right here. Nice. All we have is an ink pen, so hopefully <laughs> it'll look good. <laughs> getting it? We're getting there. Nerves on. By the time we get done with this, you got me to be checking it. in. You got it all finished? <laughs> yeah, nerds on the go. Nerds you on the go, you too. Oh, I wish our stickers were in. All right, guys, that's pretty cool. This is really neat. There's tons and tons and tons of people have signed this wall. And they're even signing like the post. And then all the way up here in the rafters. Like, it's really, this is cool. We're here in Cuba, Cuba, Missouri. This is a really neat mural. It looks like an old building, but it's actually just a wall mural. Look at that, it's really cool. The old car and Route 66 sign and everything. This is really neat. Our next stop is where on 66, Kebab, Salads, Burgers, Fresh Food and Drinks. It's a Phillips Petroleum Company uh, old building here. If you turn around here, there's some cool bikes going by actually. And there's actually a mural across the street. Like the bikers pass. Or not a mural, but the little uh, the little box there is painted for Route 66. And then turn it back around here. Look at the cool uh, roof line here. The, the shingles and all that is really neat. There's like a little restaurant in here now. This is really cool. And there's a cool mural over here too. Pump handle snack shop, uh, the gas station, and uh, the Wagon Wheel Motel. We just saw that. There's a guy changing his flat tire. I guess the police officer's calling for backup there. This is really neat out here. Here we are at the oldest remaining uh, building that's the government owned building in Cuba. It's the Cuba Jail from 1908 uh, to I believe 1954, I believe. There's a little look inside. You can barely see in there. This is the old jail. Still a government building. It's like a two person jail, two cell jail.
found a train in Cuba, Missouri. This is on the back of Frisco's Pub and Grill. Pretty cool. All right, we're at our <laughs> next stop, and we're at the second world's largest, second largest uh, rocking chair. It's huge. Look at that. Look at that thing. It's huge. Why don't you go climb up there? <laughs> I don't even like heights. <laughs> let's go see it. Uh, let's go see the rocking <laughs> You'll Let's go it. see the rocking chair. <laughs> Here it is. The world's second largest rocking chair. Route 66, world famous at the Fanning US 66 outpost. This thing is gigantic. Wow. Let's kind of show you a little bit of the, the side here. The one is blowing the phone. Sorry about that. Look at that. That thing is awesome. And then turning around behind us, the cool mural on the wall here at the outpost. This is closed today, unfortunately, but it's a neat mural right here. Gosh, 28 cents a gallon. And then turning around to the front here, let me show you the front of this building. And there it is. The Fanning Outpost General Store. And then there's the rocking chair. <laughs> this is awesome. We found a giant smoking man. This is at the smoke outlet here. So not a muffler man, but a cool giant smoke statue. Hey everybody, future Jeremy here. I hope y'all enjoyed part one of day two. Uh, due to how long it was, we didn't expect it to be this long as well, and we packed a lot into our days. Uh, so we're going to split it into two like we did with day one. So this is part one, and now we're going to have part two coming out uh, hopefully tomorrow. Um, so be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and thank you for joining us on our Route 66 adventure.